Today is the afternoon of the 29th of June, and we just concluded the 11th International Conference on Community-Based Adaptation. We had uh, well over 300 people from well over 50 countries from all the continents participate, of whom 80 uh, came early, three days early. They went on a three-day field visit to various uh, different sites in groups of about 20, four different sites. Uh, during the conference itself, we had uh, a variety of discussions and presentations and different formats, uh, videos and posters and games and food presentation and an art exhibition. So we try and liven up the proceedings of the conference so that everybody gets to participate, everybody gets to know one another, even though it's a big conference with lots of hundreds of people. Hopefully everybody ends up knowing most of the people, if not all of them. I think we were able to achieve that. At the closing session, I presented the major outcomes. I'll mention a few of them. Firstly, a big emphasis on youth this time. Uh, the Monterrey University organized a parallel conference on youth for the youth. They came and gave their uh, outputs of that conference to ours here in the closing session. Uganda happens to have the highest proportion of young people in the world, and so it's particularly important for Uganda to invest in the youth so that they can become climate smart, climate champions, and they can take the, the tackling climate change agenda forward. So that was one big uh, outcome. The second big outcome related to youth, uh, going beyond youth, is a universities level outcome where we launched on the 26th of June the least developed countries university consortium on climate change, which is an official South-South initiative of uh, a number of universities to start with from least developed countries, which will reach all 48 LDCs over time. It was officially launched by the chair of the LDC group, Mr. Gabriel Jemba from Ethiopia, who came to Kampala to do that. It is now officially open for business, and we are happy to collaborate and uh, find ways to uh, find ways to synergize with other people who may be interested in doing so. And finally, we had a long debate about the future of the CBA series, conference series. This is the 11th conference we've done. Uh, over actually 13 years because the first three were done two years apart. So we've been doing this for well over 11 years. We had a major discussion around what we call CBA refresh, rethinking uh, the strategy going forward. The outcome is that there was strong support to continue but perhaps modify the format and the, the timing and the venues. So we are back at the drawing board on that but I'm pretty sure that we will have a CBA 12 at some point fairly soon and we'll be able to announce the venue in time for them. So keep looking at the CBA website for updates on the future of CBA.